love to ask you a question about language. So yeah. uh, language input to children yeah. uh, has been getting a lot of attention uh, from the press and all across America. And the quantity and quality of language input to children. To, what, make a few comments about that. What do you think about that? Sure. Well, I think everyone's now heard of the 30 million word gap. And uh, the 30 million word gap seems to imply uh, that if we just spoke 30 million more words to those kids, um, you know, those low income kids would miraculously then become the middle income kids and their language problems would be over. But of course, the 30 million word gap is really like a window onto something much deeper. It's onto the kinds of conversations that some of us have with very little babies long before they utter their first words. And the very people who came up with the 30 million word gap, as you well know, Hart and Risley, they also told us that language was a dance, mm -hmm. that communication was a dance between two people who were engaged with one another, learning what it meant to be social as a foundation for that language. And therein lies the quality in the conversation. So it's quantity and quality. Mm -hmm. Quality mm -hmm. has been defined in several different ways. It's been defined as the kind of diversity of the kinds of words that you use, the complexity of the sentences that you speak, and in our own work, we define it as that kind of back and forth fluidness of the conversation, and whether when you're having that conversation, you just happen to pop in some signs mm -hmm. about the ball, whether it's gesture, not words, or some words. And together that and routines help form our communication and quality of the interaction, our conversational duet. So that's the conversational duet. It is the conversational duet. And so you're, you're saying that that's very, very important. Yes. From the beginning. Yes. Right. We are saying it's actually central to how young children start to learn language. In that conversation is certainly the beginnings of the back and forth that are going to help our children learn. But it's more than that. We've sometimes characterized that back and forth as serve and return. And that means just serve and somebody returns it and that's the end. Mm -hmm. But really it's serve and return and return and return and mm. return. So when we conceptualized it, we thought of it as a kind of duet mm -hmm. where the parent and child are singing together mm -hmm. and you just can't do it alone. Mm -hmm.